Hello, what's up, YouTube photographer Ronix? Today I'm trying this tutorial. I'll be showing you how you can easily add glow or shine to your photos using Photoshop. And if at all this is what you have always wanted, I request that you hit, simply hit the like button on this video and don't forget to subscribe. If at all you are watching and you're not subscribed yet to this channel, so basically this is what we're going to be achieving. This is the before, after, before, after. You can see how nice and better image has gotten to be and it looks to have that kind of three dimensional feel added to it so without further ado let's get started so i'll just come and simply delete this so in order to add glow or shine to your images you're just going to be using the curves adjustment layer and also learn how to use masking within photoshop so what you're going to do you're just going to come right here to the adjustments here so basically you have to do this step after it has to be one of the last steps for your retouching process in photoshop after color grading and also doing the skin retouching so come the adjustments here and simply come to curves so when you select curves you have to just come you can simply click in the middle here Click in the middle and simply brighten up the image. So click in the middle and brighten up the image. So as you brighten up, make make sure that you are looking at the brightest points of the image, which is the highlights. So I'll stop at that point, whereby the highlights are close to white, but they are not totally white. Just add a tiny bit of exposure. And after doing that, you are simply going to come and double click on these curves layer. So just simply double click and it's going to open up the layer style dialog box so what we have to do in this case we just want the effect to affect only the brightest points of the skin tone and we don't want the darkest points of the skin tones to be affected so just come right here and make sure you have these settings the blend mode has to be normal or past 100 percent then fill up past it 100 percent make sure the channels r g b are selected knockout set to none and blend clipped layers as a group and transparency shapes layer are checked these two options are checked then make sure the blend if is set to gray and after making sure that you have those settings right come to where you see underlying layer so you just want to take the effect from affecting the shadow area so this is going to be the slider for a shadow area so in order to take it out simply left click on the slider so left click on the slider and simply start dragging it up so when you start dragging it up you can see that the effect is now only on the highlights or the brightest points so you have to stop at the point whereby the effect is only affecting the brightest points of the image you can see a forehead area and this area and the nose and some cheek some neck bones right there so after doing that we're just going to come and simply click ok so you can see that uh, this looks odd it looks awkward so if at all you feel like the effect is not even enough you can simply come back and double click to open up the layer style dialog box so the effect looks harsh for our liking as you can see in this case so in order to create a nice and smooth transition between the selected areas that is the highlights you can see that we have these rough edges so to blend it better hold down the option key on the keyboard then if at all you are using windows it is the alternate key on the keyboard so hold it down and left click on this point and split it so split it up the point when you feel like the effect has blended into the skin and simply click OK. So you can see a before, after, before, after. So after doing this, this is not the final step. You can see the effect is also affecting the background of uh, the image and other areas like uh, the earrings in this case. So what we have to do, select the white layer mask in this case. And after selecting it, simply press ctrl i or you can use command i on the keyboard so press ctrl i for windows or pc then for mac it is command i on the keyboard and that is going to hide or invert the effect from affecting the whole image so just come under the brushes 
right click and get the normal brush tool so make sure i had it is set to zero percent soft round brush is selected the mode is set to normal then opacity at 100 percent and flat 100 percent then make sure you have black and white on these two swatches right here so to reset to black and white you can press d on the keyboard and that is going to create a default selection right there to black and white or you can simply left click on these two tiny squares right there and after doing that we simply have to come and paint on the brightest area so only paint on the brightest points of the skin tone or the highlights and that is going to add that nice and beautiful glow to your images or your photos so just come and paint just like that come the forehead area and also paint and by just doing this is going to add glow or shine to your photo so just come and paint on only the brightest points of the skin tone so i'll just come and paint just like that and by just doing this you can see that we have been able to add glow or shine so don't forget to feather the effect so to feather simply come and select the properties and make sure you're under masks and simply feather the effect to blend better into the image just to around two pixels that is fine so you can see before after before after you have been able to add glow or shine to the image so if at all you want to if at all the effect is too much for your liking just come to the opacity right here and simply reduce on the opacity to your liking then also if at all the effect is not enough for you simply come and you duplicate this layer by pressing ctrl j on the keyboard and that is going to intensify the effect but that is too much so i'll go with only one layer so this is how you can easily add glow or shine to your images in photoshop and it's also going to add this kind of three-dimensional look and add that kind of glamour look to your images in photoshop so if at all you have enjoyed this i request that you hit the like button on this video because i notice so many of you only watch and you don't uh give the video a like and also don't forget to subscribe and also check out my digital store to get all my photoshop actions that are going to help you quicken or fasten your retouching process in photoshop and for in-depth courses i have courses on my digital store the link is going to be in the description of this video so that you can support the channel for the content that i always drop for you guys right here ronix from ronix photography thank you for watching i'll see you near more videos on this channel and don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating